Hey, what's up guys, I'm back in the video, and today I'm going to talk about Aaron Gordon to the New Orleans Pel Pelicans and the possibility of him going there. And this isn't a very big rumor, but I mean, not really any free agents besides LeBron James, Paul George, and Kawhi's not a free agent, but like besides the offseason rumors of Kawhi, LeBron, and Paul George, they're really having no other rumors just because of how huge those rumors actually are. And Aaron Gordon is a very, very big slept on free agent in my opinion, and I really don't think he's going to resign with Orlando because Orlando's trash. But besides Besides that, I just don't really don't think he'll go there. I'm getting into why the Pelicans should sign him, why he fits for the Pelicans. Pretty much just going all, all around why he should go to the Pelicans. And I mean, before I get into this video, I'm not only making this video because I'm a Pelicans fan, I'm making this video because I think it makes sense. So without further ado, without me running on too much, let's get right into this video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to get into is they need a cheap free agent. With there being a lot of reports saying that DeMarcus Cousins is going to end up coming back to the Pelicans, mostly because it makes no sense for the Pelicans not to resign him. I mean, even if they don't sign him, they still don't have a lot of cap to work with, so why not just re-sign him anyway? Because you're going to have to re-sign Rajon Rondo. So with that, with them having signed re-signed Rondo, who came off a very good year, and DeMarcus Cousins, who you're going to have to give a big payday to, if, even if it's not a max, it's going to be close to a max. So I mean, that those are going to be two kind of pretty big cap hits. They're going to need a cheaper free agent, and Aaron Gordon, obviously he's not going to ask for a minimum. He's a better player than that, but he's a good player, but he's not a, oh my god, you have to pay this man type of player you know what I mean he's kind of just like a middle of the road a good solid starting player who's young and athletic and has a lot of potential so he can't he's not going to be asking for a max he's going to be like kind of in the middle you know and like and he's probably gonna be cheap enough to where we can work something out to be able to get him so I think he would be a very very good player to keep so I, and because he won't be having asking for a lot of money we'll be able to sign to a long deal he's young has potential we could we could develop him a little bit he would be one of the better fits in free agency and he would actually be an affordable free agent who's a probably one of the more elite free agents and he's going to be very affordable compared to other free agents on the market so I think just for that reason he is an almost perfect fit for the Pelicans but my second reason I'm going to get into is that they could get a starting caliber small forward yes I know that the dude mostly plays power forward that's pretty much what he's played his whole career but in the 2016 through 17 season he played the three or the small forward and this year, yeah, we had a decent small forward in Etwan Moore, but he's he's just a scorer. He doesn't play much defense. Aaron Gordon actually plays defense. And I mean, if we can get to where Etwan Moore is coming off the bench, I think that would be perfect. Etwan, Etwan Moore would be an excellent six man well, with Nikola Mirotic. He would be a good seven man. He would just be a very, very good solid bench player and would be huge to keep our bench strong as it's one of our weaker parts. So our starting lineup is decent, but our bench is very, very weak. So if you're able to add him to the bench, who showed that he's a very capable uh, starting in three, I think it would be huge. Plus Aaron Gordon, he could kind of he can score and he can um play defense. So he kind of like he's a little bit better of a fit than Etwan Moore is at that position for us. And I think he will be able to be more productive than Etwan Moore for, was for us. And, and when Etwan Moore comes off the bench, we won't be losing all that much when he comes on when Aaron Gordon gets off and on the court. And maybe with resigning Aaron Gordon or not resigning but signing Aaron Gordon, we might be able to take some of the less stress off of Cousins and AD. Cousins obviously coming out off of a huge huge injury in AD. He's kind of had injury problems throughout his entire career, so maybe he'll be able to take the load off of them a little bit, and we'll be able to kind of change the minutes among everybody. And plus, I mean, that starting lineup would be very, very good. As just look, we have a veteran point guard in Rondo, a Drew Holiday, who just had a resurgence, had a rebirth last year, had probably one of his best years of his career. Aaron Gordon, who's a great young player and would be a very, very good addition to the team at the three. An elite power forward, probably the top five player in the NBA right now, and probably going to be one of the best players in the NBA one day. And Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, a top three center in the league, assuming that he's going to be the same after his injury. I mean, they would have a very, very good starting five, and we might be able to challenge the Warriors a little bit. I'm, I'm not saying we will but they're they're a year older we're younger you never know clay thompson might leave them we might be able to challenge the warriors this year i'm not saying we're going to go to the nba finals or anything if we sign him i'm saying that we are going to have a much better season and we have we'll actually probably get two or three games on the warriors i'm just saying i don't know i'm not saying it's going to happen but i do think we'll be able to do something in that nature if we're able to sign aaron gordon and also my third and final reason is going to be that he would be a huge help on defense as they finish second to last on defense in rankings last year which I don't understand they had 
two all defensive first team players and Drew Holiday and not Drew Holiday, but like Drew Holiday and Anthony Davis. They were definitely both of them were on an all defensive team. And Anthony Davis is an all defensive player of the year candidate right now. So I mean to finish second to last in defensive rankings isn't very good. But I think we're a better defensive team than the rankings show for sure. But I mean, the stats don't lie. We're the second last. So if you add Aaron Gordon, who is a great young player who's very, very athletic. I mean, extremely athletic. He can help a ton on defense. And plus, I mean, he just had one of his best years of his career, averaging one block per game and one steals per game. And I think he averaged around 17 points per game this year. He had a very, very good season and productive season for the Magic, despite with the, how bad the Magic were. That's just because of how bad of an organization they actually are. But if he was on a different team, he would definitely be able to play a lot better. Obviously, his minutes, I mean, not his minutes, his, um, his uh, points would go down playing with Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins, but I mean, I think he would be willing to do that. And his defense would probably actually improve, and he would probably get more touches just because he's kind of a more spread the floor type player. And he's he could also fit into their system, which is a running gun type player. I mean, I think we finished like first in the pace or second in pace per game if you had him who's very athletic likes to run the court he will fit right into the running gun system that we have right now and i think he would be that one of that perfect fit for us and he can also kind of shoot the three a little bit so i mean i think he would fit in very very good so now you now on your defense you would have ronda who's a decent defender for how old he is drew holiday he was on the all defensive team anthony davis on an all defensive team marcus cousins is a pretty good defender i mean in the post he's a very good defender on the wing he's kind of iffy but i mean if you have him in the post he's a very good defender aaron gordon can kind of defend every position just because of how athletic he is we'd have a very good defensive team and that kind of fill in a big hole for us now we'd have a great offense and a great defense and now a a lot stronger of a bench so overall i think aaron gordon would be a very very nice addition to our team do i think it's going to happen now i think there's a chance depending on if we're willing to pay how much we're willing to pay him if we're willing to pay the rest of our cap for him i think we will because i don't think he's going to ask for like a minimum or nowhere near but also don't think he's gonna be asking for a max somehow some of the players that have maxes in this league yeah, then yeah, but and the only reason I don't think we're gonna be able to sign him is because there's gonna be another team that should throw him a huge deal, and then he's probably gonna sign with them to be honest. But if he doesn't and he wants to come with us and he wants to win a couple more games, and he would with the Magic by a couple, I mean be an actual playoff contender. I mean not playoff contender because I think if we got Aaron Gordon, we'd be an almost like lock in to be in all, in the playoffs. I would think. So I, if he wants to be in the playoffs, then he would come to us. But if some other team offers him a ton of buttload of money, he's young still. He's probably gonna go with that all. For, but you never know maybe he does go to the pelicans and i think he'd be a very good addition so comment below do you think that aaron gordon would be a good addition to the team do you think he'll go to the pelicans where do you think he will go i really want to hear your thoughts in the comments if you have any video ideas you want to see me make in the future comment those below as well i'll give you credit in the video and i'll probably make it right away if i like the video i might not make it if i don't like it but if i do then i'll make the video for sure and i'll make sure to give you credit and if you did like the video at any point hit the like button and subscribe button with me the road at me we're at 200 tips subscribers that's a lot of people. Thank you all so much for hitting the subscribe button. It literally means the absolute world to me. I can't express to you enough. And I hope all you have a blessed day because I had a blessed day. So y'all need to have a blessed day. See you tomorrow's video. Goodbye.